welcome you all once again we are beginning another lecture series program and it is about tenses please watch my complete 12 lectures on tenses for learning english language this is a lecture i'm going to talk about uh, number one uses of present simple tense number two how to translate urdu into english and number three we will be able to solve mcqs type questions at the end so there are some of the drills exercises at the end of the lecture please do not forget to solve them and send the answers into comment box so let's get started without a further go present simple tense is used for facts and general truths so when we are talking about facts and general truths we use present simple tense for example here's the man he says i live in pakistan so this is uh, a general truth he says about and then the earth goes round the sun so this is fact this is general truth the earth goes round the sun so these are some of the facts and general truths when we talk about we use present simple tense number 2 present simple tense is used for habits and routine this is uh, the most usable tense in this connection so you see this boy says i wake up every day at 8 o'clock now this is his routine that he wakes up every day at 8 o'clock and here are uh, more people they are talking about their habits and routines for example she says i always play football right i brush my teeth every day or i study 5 hours daily so these are some of the uses are uh, these are the people who are talking about their habits and routines and this uh, situation is to be used as present simple tense present simple tense is used for feelings emotions and thoughts for example he gets angry or he thinks about his future now you see we are talking about their thinking we are talking about what they feel or even you could use it what you are feeling or uh, what are your emotions your thoughts you express these all things into present simple tense translation hum hamesha jo hai wo translations jo hai wo face karte hain apne examinations mein so this is very essential to learn about the translations so here when we talk about zameen suraj ke gird ghumti hai how we are going to translate it hum jab bhi uh, urdu se english mein translate karenge to first we must know the subject object and verb so here is the subject zameen is the subject and uh, then ghumti hai that is uh, the verb to hum jo hai pehle zameen isko translate karenge iske baad ghumti hai isko translate karenge and then object now this is the step wise how we are going to make translation zameen as we have translated the earth goes round the sun so first we translated the mean subject the earth and then ghumti hai goes and then suraj ke gird round the sun this is the object so here is the method how we are going to translate from urdu into english or for example main pakistan mein rehta hu how we are going to translate it first to you okay here is the sentence i live in pakistan so this is a kind of drill or exercise uh, we are going to make from urdu into english and using present simple tense these are some of the sentences in urdu which uh, show that this is present simple tense kya wo khana khati hai aap last jo words hain inko dekhenge ti hai hai ta hai theek hai to these are some of the um, symbols um, from where we could recognize that this is present simple tense in urdu kya wo khana khati hai वो मेरी बात गौर से सुनता है वो जल्दी गुस्सा हो जाता है वो अच्छी इंग्लिश बोलता है फकीर भीख नहीं मांगता दोज स्टूडेंट्स हु आर इंटरेस्टेड टू ट्रांसलेट दीज सेंटेंसेस प्लीज ट्रांसलेट देम एंड राइट देयर इंग्लिश इन टू कमेंट बॉक्स सो हियर अगेन व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट दिस सेंटेंस उससे गुस्सा आता है ही गेट्स एंग्री और फॉर एग्जाम्पल 
وہ اپنے مستقبل کے بارے میں سوچتا ہے ہی تھنگس اباؤٹ ہز فیوچر سو دیز آر سم آف دی ٹرانسلیشنز آر دیز آر سم آف دا ویز آف ٹرانسلیشنز فرام اردو ان ٹو انگلش آر انگلش ان ٹو اردو وی کڈ لرن ہیئر از ایکچولی ناؤ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اسٹرکچر ان ٹو پریزنٹ سمپل ٹینس سو ایفرمیٹو سینٹینسز when we talk about affirmative sentences this is the structure of a sentence first subject and then verb or verb first form of the verb and we use s or es with verb and object so where we could use s or es we are going to learn within the sentences i read a book every day so with i we are not using s or es with verb but when we say he she it we use s with the first form of the verb reads he she it reads a book every day right or for example we read a book every day you read a book every day they read a book every day but when we are talking about the singular uh, subject we use reads right s or es we put with the first form of the verb but again if there are two names we are supposed to use only read without s or es the first form of the main verb rehan and wahid read a book every day so this is a kind of affirmative sentences we are going to use and here are some of the time expressions we usually use in present simple tense every day daily usually always every morning for example so these are some of the time expressions are very essential uh, using in present simple tense as we already have used here every day every day and these are uh, the time expressions actually here is how we are going to make negative sentences out of affirmative here subject and then do or does not and first form of the when man verb and object as i do not read a book every day or for example he she it does not read a book every day now you see here is the change does not right with he she it ke sath hum does not ka istemal kar rahe and then we do not read a book every day you do not read a book every day they do not read a book every day Rehan does not read a book every day and then Rehan and Wahid do not read a book every day so these are uh, some of the sentences and this is the structure of present simple negative sentence here uh, how we are going to use short forms in a street of do not and does not do not it would be the don't and does not it would be doesn't so these are the short forms we sometimes use as i don't read a book every day here is how we are going to make interrogative sentences out of the affirmative first we are going to use do and does and then subject right and then first form of the verb and object how do i read a book every day does he she it read a book every day you see here we are going to use does and there isn't any s or es with the first form of the verb and then do we read a book every day do you read a book every day do they read a book every day does rehan read a book every day do rehan and wahid read a book every day so this is how we are going to make interrogative sentences how we are going to make intero negative sentences as do and does at the very first then subject and then not and then var at the very end object how do i not read a book every day does he she or it not read a book every day and in this way we are going to make these all sentences likewise so this is how we are going to make intero negative sentences here is uh, an exercise for all of you so how we are going to make a translation of this wo school jata hai now this is for you please write the correct answer if you have uh, um, made the intelligent guess or uh, with the help of your understanding you make the sentence out of this urdu wo school jata hai kaise hoga aap comment box mein zarur likhein here is the answer he goes to school 
and here wo gaadi nahi chalata how we are going to make its translation he does not try so this is the exercise for you uh, just solve and if you have solved like this so you are up to the mark now again here your turn now write the affirmative negative form of the verbs in brackets as dev dash not live in madrid isko sahi kare aap aur yahan pe please jo hai wo isko aap iske answers jo hai wo aap mujhe uh, comment box mein bhej sakte hain dev dash not live in madrid dev what would be whether does not live do not live yes of course does not live in madrid so dash study german at school so study our studies yes it studies german at school my dad dash drive a red car so my dad drives a red car or we don't walk or not walk to school we don't walk to school the 34 bus doesn't stop not stop here mr brown teach maths mr brown teaches maths the children dash play football the children play football mary washes the dishes after lunch if you have a solved please write into the comment box so thank you very much this is all about um the present simple tense keep watching our next lecture is present continuous tense